rolling hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Soma Chaya and today we're making healthy vegan pancakes I'm not the best chef disclaimer I this is a recipe from my mom that I am trying to adapt right now and she is behind the camera so in case I fuck up she's gonna give me instructions because I'm really bad at cooking they might turn out really ugly but I guarantee no matter how ugly they're gonna one be vegan 100% so that means no animal products or byproducts or animal testing and two they're going to be healthy and three I can, they'll taste good as long as I don't burn them they're gonna taste good. Okay, so without further ado, let's get the ingredients going. First thing I'm gonna grab is, don't tell me mom, I got this. Let's make this super healthy and let's put some vegan chocolate powder in it. This is uh, protein powder, so it says vegan on the package, so I know it's vegan. This is plant powered, organic, and the brand is, literally it's just called Good Stuff. Um, I got this uh, back in Toronto and I think it's like locally sourced ingredients too. So if you guys are looking for like a nice vegan protein supplement, this is some really good shit. So we're gonna put this in here. You're gonna need some baking powder. Gotta make that shit fluffy. Okay, this one is gluten-free, wheat-free, so really, really healthy. And if any of you guys are gluten-free or uh, what is it, Celi uh, celiac? Mm -hmm. If any of you guys are like intolerant to gluten, Great stuff. Um, it's called Cherry Brook Kitchen. Peanut free, dairy free, nut free, egg free. The ingredients are white rice flour, cane sugar, potato starch, non-illuminated baking powder, tapioca starch, all natural vanilla flavoring, sea salt, and xanthan gum. Foods, just and so you know. From Whole Foods. And it was not expensive. How much was it? Two for seven bucks. Two for seven bucks. That's pretty good for like gluten free, wheat free, and dairy free. Yep. And vegan. Well, we don't need this to bake, but we're gonna need this after. Yes. Maple syrup. Um, this is pure 100% maple syrup, very natural. The darker the color of your syrup, the better it is for you, the less additives. So this is very dark colored. It even says grade A, grade A maple syrup. It's gonna be high in sugar content. You'd rather have it be natural sugar, which your body can break down a lot easier than processed sugar. Oatmeal. Am I missing anything? This is it. Oh my God. Minimal ingredient. Look you you used coffee, I think, uh, oh, instant coffee last we can time. We do that this time too. So then we have just regular Quaker oats. Literally, this is the cheapest and really good quality oatmeal that you can get. You can get this at Walmart. No frills if you're in Canada. Um, Ralph's, Whole Foods. Something that I just tried last time I made pancakes, which actually worked out pretty good, was putting instant coffee inside of it. I know it sounds super weird to put coffee in it, but it just adds like a, adding just a little bit of it, it tastes like candy. It tastes like um, coffee crisp. One more thing I actually forgot. You can either use water or you can use almond milk. I'm gonna use almond milk because I think it adds a certain thickness to it. This is literally the um, generic brand at Whole Foods, so it's pretty cheap. Yeah, these are our ingredients. So let's get a bowl and let's start mixing. Now, you don't necessarily need to measure it, just depends how many you want to make, I guess. I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it, unless, should we use measuring? We're good. We're so good that we're not gonna use measuring tools. Have confidence in me. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Oh, this, this smells really good. Oh my God. <laughs> No, but it smells so good. Vanilla or like rainbow cake mix. I can't stop smelling it. Oh my God. So we're gonna add oats next. And the reason I like to add oatmeal and mom likes to add oatmeal into these pancakes is because it adds thickness to it. It makes them a bit more fluffy. It's really healthy for you. I think they're high in iron or protein. It's good for protein. It's got like five grams of protein. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some oats in. I'd say do a ratio of like 50-50, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just kind of evenly put as much as we did for the flour. Okay, next I'm going to put in baking powder. How much would you say we should put in? Uh, one tablespoon's fine. And next, this is all up to your own discretion and your own taste buds, whatever you would like. Um, my opinion, the flavor of this is pretty strong, so I'm not gonna put too much in. And a scoop, 
I made two scoops. I'm gonna put two scoops. Give it a nice chocolatey flavor. Two. Some instant coffee. This is literally the cheapest fucking instant coffee I've ever purchased. I think it was like two dollars and fifty cents. So it doesn't need to be good stuff. It just needs to get the flavor in. I love coffee, so I'm gonna put in quite a good amount, I'd say. We'll do one more. Okay, and then last step is adding either water or almond milk or coconut milk, soy milk, oat milk, whatever floats your milk boat. Just not actual milk, because we're making vegan pancakes. Just probably enough that the consistency isn't like super thick, it's enough that you can pour it, but it's not like liquid and runny. I'm just gonna eyeball it and you can kind of see what I mean. It's always good to try just putting a little bit first, mixing that, and then you can always add more later. You can never take it out. So now we're gonna take out the pan. We're gonna heat it up. I use an iron pan. It's so heavy, oh my god. I use an iron pan, because it's non-stick. It's heavy duty, cooks well. I'm gonna put it on low. I'm gonna get some coconut oil to kind of moisten it. I wanna get it nice and moist. Got the coconut oil, extra virgin original coconut oil. You don't need too much, just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna turn it up to high. And you'll know it's hot when the handle starts getting hot and you can't touch it. And there goes mom fixing what I can't do. <laughs> did I ruin it? What did I do? Oh, you can put a little bit more almond milk if you like. More? But last time it was so liquidy. No, it's because as it sits, it's gonna fluff up. Though it's... Okay, we're putting more almond milk. We eat pancakes like four days out of the week, don't we? <laughs> It's just, we use it as dessert. We use pancakes as dessert because they're so easy to make. It literally takes like 10 minutes to make pancakes. Um, then today we also filmed a condo tour that you guys have been asking for and... I screwed it up. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't screw it up, but like, she didn't focus the camera the whole time. <laughs> we spent an hour filming the condo tour. 30 minutes out of the hour of the footage was not in focus. We're gonna refilm that. We'll film it, film it again, so thank you for your patience and waiting for that. But for now, you're getting a pancake video. I'm very impatient when I cook and when I bake, which is partially why I'm very bad at it. I'm gonna pour some onto the pan. Kind of wanna spread it with the spoon, make it nice and round so it's easy to flip. And these air bubbles are good, right, Mom? Yes. That's a good sign. That means it's cooking. What spatula do I use? It's, uh, no, one? it's at the bottom. Oh. Bottom right here. Stove. Oh. You can tell that I cook all the time. I know where everything is. Push, and then oh. it opens. <laughs> this one? Yeah. My trusty spatula, I feel like Spongebob. <laughs> Ooh, it's fluffing real quick. It's still a little bit soft. You don't want to flip it too soon. Or you can wait for a few more seconds. No, it's gonna break. Fuck, what do I do? It's stuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Mom's videotaping and flipping pancakes. <laughs> ah! yep. Oh my God, it worked, it worked. Okay, wait, so I need to turn the heat down? Remember? When you put the batter in for it to cook, you have to turn it down. Oh. Right. You don't want to cook it too fast, too quick. Is it burnt? No. That's just coffee flavor. See, I can't guarantee that they'll look pretty, but I know for sure. What's wrong with it? It's just brown. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Yeah, so much? It's just brown. Exactly. What am I, a fucking pancake racist? No. <laughs> Brown person eats brown pancakes. Beat it up a little bit. And then turn down the heat before you take it off of the stove because you don't want there to be too much smoke coming out and then your alarm will go off. Oh, look how beautiful it is. It's actually a nice shape. Normally mine don't come out that great. Then we're gonna take some maple syrup. I actually don't like bananas, but for some reason, I'm kind of craving them. I think bananas are disgusting, but I'm gonna cut a banana and put it on here. Normally I like blueberries or strawberries. I'm a berry kind of person when it comes to pancakes. Can you make eyes and nose and happy face? <laughs> you want a happy face pancake? Yes. This will have to be the nose. It'll be a Squidward nose. <laughs> Why do I keep making SpongeBob references? <laughs> he looks like a penis. <laughs>
That's nasty. Ew. That's a... He doesn't look too happy, Mom. He looks kind <laughs> of depressed. Uh, with a nose like that? Poor guy. <laughs> seven minutes maybe not even the longest part of this process is just waiting for the stove to heat thanks for joining thanks for putting up my shitty cooking if you guys try this recipe let me know I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the description box below please try out the recipe send me pictures let me know what you think are you gonna take a bite out of it first you didn't even try it <laughs> maybe I'm scared <laughs> how do we know if it tastes good Mmm, I like the protein. Oh my god, it's actually really good. Wait a second. Wait, this is actually really good. Oh my god, this is so good. But yeah, so um, we still have the rest of the batter left. I'm going to go make the rest for my family. But thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys try the recipe and you like it. And also special thanks to mom behind the camera for videoing this. Yay, me. And, <laughs> and for giving me instructions so I don't fuck up. Okay, bye guys. See you next week. Oh, mom, mom, mom.